Hello everyone, my name is Sabrina Melodieuse. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are continuing the series of my huge yarn haul. Yes, I did start it a few months ago and unfortunately I did not carry on with it. But I am now itching to carry on with this series of my huge mystery yarn haul. So what is this about? Well, sometime last year, I believe it was the beginning of the um, summer, I'm going to say around June, July, I bought a huge uh, mystery yarn hauls where there were eight full bags. Yes, eight full bags, but I'm not talking little bags. I am talking a huge bags. I'm going to show you one that I will open today. So I thought I will unbag all these mystery bags because I can't see through. So I don't know what yarns they are. There might be some rubbish yarn, but there might be some absolutely amazing yarns. And I am so excited to be... Um, discovering this with you all. So whilst we're looking into each bag um, and showing you the yarns, I might select some that uh, at the end of the series of all the videos that I will make, because there will be a few videos. I can't open them all at once. There's just too much. I will select some yarns uh, to do a giveaway with. So I hope you will enjoy this uh, continuity of this mini series of my huge mystery yarn haul. Let me give you an idea of uh, how much yarn I will show you today. Uh, so I already did video number one. I will link this video in the description box below. So if you haven't seen it already, um, take a look and you will start to discover some of the yarns from bag number one. However, today I'm going to open bag number two. So I will show you the bag as it is. <laughs> this is huge. This is heavy as well. There it is. Huge! <laughs> this is bag number two of eight. So after that, there will be another six, which is amazing, isn't it? So shall we look into the bag? So what I'm going to do now is um, I'm going to put the bag over there and I will see what you want to show you first. I'm super excited. Let's go and have some fun. Okay, I got the first little bag from here because there's a few bags in there. So let's discover the first yarn, shall we? I want to make sure that you'll be able to see well. <laughs> I'm sorry, but this guy is not working well either. And it's raining a lot today. It is raining tons and tons and tons. Okay, so. Oh, very nice yarn. And oh, I think someone started to knit something with it and then they completely stopped <laughs> and just thought, oh, to hell with it and I'll give it away. So, uh, right. <laughs> I don't know how many skins they are, but I will show you. They are one, two, three, four, five, six. I've got six. Mm -hmm. Yes, there are six of that. And it is, it feels really nice. It is Grampian DK Tweed. I've never heard of this one before. Grampian DK Tweed. And it is by Hayfield. And I have absolutely no idea what the colorway is. It doesn't say, but each ball is 50 grams each. And uh, it is made in England. Yes, it is nice to find some English yarn. Made in England, a 40% acrylic, 
a 15% wool, 40% uh, bry nylon, and 5% viscose. Uh, so it is a decay. And I've got six spools, I've got six spools of those, so that makes 300 grams. And here it is. What do you think of this yarn? I mean, I wish the colors would come out a little better, but it's a beautiful, like, um, like a mauve color or purple, shall we say, maybe. And it's got flecks of different colors of yarn. I hope you can see this. It's some, there's some red, blue, green, yellow. Um, it is quite an interesting yarn. Really nice. I quite like it. And yes, yeah, someone started to knit something with it. So I'm going to show you. Uh, because it, it just feels like they have completely given up. They have made... Uh, I think it's probably the front of a car of a sweater or maybe the back of a cardigan. I don't know. It's a shame that they have stopped. This is how the yarn looks when it's knitted. Really nice. And they also started to do uh, a front or something. But that, that's quite a shame. I am debating whether to just uh, frog it all and use the yarn to make something with it. <laughs> well, what a start to uh, the beautiful yarns. It is a shame when people decide that. I mean, I'm guilty of that too. That, you know, you are knitting something or crocheting something and you're well into it and then you're deciding that actually you can't be bothered with it anymore or something and you just completely give up. I am guilty of that. <laughs> I've done that a few times. But it is a shame to see that happening and that, oh well, I can always use the yarn. What else do we have next? Next bag that I have out is a bag that is amazing, yes. And I don't know how many they are, but there are quite a few. And it is Peyton's Moorland. It is Shetland DK. I can definitely feel some wool in there. So let's see what it says. Uh, where are the details? Um, so they are 50 gram balls and it is 100% pure new, uh, what, 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 new wool. Okay, it is 100% 100% wool and that's why I can feel the wool and actually it does feel a little bit scratchy so I don't know if that will be in the giveaway because most people are, no, I don't want any, thank you. But you never know, some people might be interested. That's if I put it into the giveaway. So this is the yarn. I don't know what the colorway is. It just says shade 6540. And here's the color. It is beautiful. It's like a blue gray and there's different shades. There's a bit of brown or like a brown beige in here. Can you see that? Uh, it is really nice. And these are 50 grams each. And I have a, a bag of that. So not sure how many bones there are. Let's discover this. Uh, let's see. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's ten balls in here. So, yeah, ten balls in that bag. I mean, this is really nice. It is beautiful, but admittedly, it is quite scratchy. So, if 
anything to be made from that, maybe like a jacket is something that you can wear over, or I don't know what else could be made out of that. But oh well, on to the next one. So the next yarn is uh, Sardar Spree, and it is a cotton blend. Um, 60% cotton and 40% acrylic. It feels really nice. And the color is, it's still just a shade number, but it's, it's, um, it's like a variegated yarn with uh, a different uh, aqua colors and white. <laughs> and I've got eight balls of that yarn. And each ball is 100 gram each. So in total, 800 grams. Let me show you the yarn. There it is. Isn't it beautiful? This is so beautiful. It is very old though. So that one is a little bit stained. It is very nice. And I feel that if it was to be knitted or crocheted, after you have made the item it will wash nicely but at the moment it is a little bit stained i don't know if you can see so i would be very hesitant to put that into a, a giveaway because yeah i wouldn't want the person to receive it and and not be happy with it <clears throat> excuse me it is new but because the person has kept it for so long, it, it is a little, it is old. So I will show you. <laughs> Eight balls of that. Look at all this. I mean, you could do something quite big with that. And actually, uh, if someone is interested for this to be uh, considered as a giveaway, I would be more than happy to put that in. It feels really nice and uh, it is not smelly. It's just a bit old, that's all. A little bit old, but it still feels lovely and it still looks lovely. So just let me know your thoughts on this particular yarn. Would you want that to be considered into a giveaway? That would be quite a nice size giveaway, actually. 800 grams of the yarn. I have three more little bags into this gigantic bag left. <laughs> there we are. So I will show you now what's in here. So now we have some beautiful yarn that is a Hayfield Bonus Aran and it is gorgeous. These are big balls and uh, it's still a shade number. <laughs> Why do they do shade numbers? Why can't they just name them? It's like a cornfield color I think. And I have two balls of that. Actually, no, uh, they are both different. So that one is Hayfield Bonus Aran, 20% wool, and the rest is uh, acrylic. I would, I would say, uh, let's see. Uh, where does it say? 80% acrylic and 20% wool. You can feel the wool, but it's not very strong. And the, the, the ball of yarn is 400 grams. Look at this beautiful color. They are, I don't know if you can see, they are very uh, a slight uh, flecks of yarn of a different color. I don't know if you can see. But so this is a, a Aran yarn, which is a number four weight in the US of A. And then I have a second ball here, which is still in a plastic. So that's a bonus. And it is a tweed Aran yarn. And it, again, it is a 400 gram ball. And 
uh, it is iron, so it's still a number four weight yarn, 400 gram, 72% acrylic, 25% wool, and 3% viscose. Now, this one is about the same color, but the flecks are much darker. So I hope you'll be able to see that. There, you see the, the dark flecks. And in comparison, this is the two balls together. That's not bad, is it? I mean, you could still make some really good things from these balls of yarn. <laughs> Shall we go into the next bag? Next bag is... It says on the on the back here there's 650 grams of it, and uh, okay, there's lots of little balls and a big one, and it says 650 grams in total, and it is <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> iron with wool. And it is a hayfield, and the ball itself is 400 grams. <coughs> Excuse me. 80% acrylic and 20% wool. And again, they just don't give a color name, but it is like a cream or corn color, and it's got flecks of different colors like orange, green. Uh, brown, <laughs> brown. I will show you. I will get one of the balls out actually, like that. Do you see the different colors? That is really nice. It it feels quite nice actually. It doesn't feel scratchy at all. So that was another yard. I have one more bag inside the bag. Shall we discover what it is? So this is the bag that I uh, have. <laughs> there we are. It is a mystery. It is a complete mystery. And I am super excited <laughs> to find out what's inside. Or am I a bit nervous? I don't know. Oh my god oh my gosh this is the best of the lot this is the best oh my gosh uh, uh, I'm actually quite shocked <laughs> um, why would I don't know I don't I don't I, why would someone give uh, a giveaway that yarn I don't understand I don't know when I got this lot, all this lot. Uh, this is the last yarn I would expect. Okay, uh, I'll show you. <laughs> oh, this is amazing. Oh my gosh. Okay. Get ready for this. We have some Red Heart Boutique Unforgettable. This is a yarn that, oh my gosh. <laughs> We can't really get here readily available, so this is just, I, I am just, I, I, in all honesty with you, I, my words are failing me right now, I'm quite overwhelmed because this is like a treasure for me, an absolute treasure, and I will show you why in a moment. So I've got two balls of unfair. Red Heart, Unforgettable, in one colorway, and a few in another color. Okay, so this is, uh, where's the detail on this one? It's 100 gram per skin, or 256 meters, which is, I have no idea what it is in yards. Um, and... Any other details available? I don't see anything else. What says needle? It's a number four weight yarn. So recommended needle and hook size are five and six. 
uh, millimeters. <laughs> Okay, the, so the color number one that I have, I've got two skins and it is dragonfly and it is beautiful. I mean, I can't believe it. Red heart, unforgettable. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Here we are. Look at those. Oh my goodness. Oh my word. I don't just, I don't know. I just don't know. There we are. I don't know uh, what I'm going to do with that, but for sure, I'm sorry. I have forgive uh, forgive me in advance, please. My words are going. Ha ha. Please forgive me, but this is something that I want to keep. I want to keep this one. <laughs> uh, okay. There is a second colorway. I will show you now. And. This, I think I might do a, a sweater out of that. And the color is winery. I think this is how it you say, winery. And it is beautiful. And I have quite a bit. I have five skins. <laughs> so excited. <laughs> Here it is. Look how beautiful this is. This is gorgeous. Yes. Beautiful. So beautiful. Oh my gosh. This is amazing, everyone. I'm just, yeah, I'm really, I'm really shocked. Look at this five of that. Five. And I really, really want to make a, a wearable out of this one. Yes. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy with this bag. Oh my gosh, I mean, it's really, I just, I don't know where to put myself right now. I'm just, I am delighted. I really am absolutely delighted. And here's them too. Wow. Oh, just, yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay, so uh, that was the last bit, so I'll be back in a second. Okay, well, that is it. Uh, that concludes, uh, <laughs> excuse me, bag number two out of eight. And that was just an amazing, an amazing bag with so many different yarns. And what a treasure right at the end, wasn't it? Just absolutely amazing. And now I'm just itching to carry on with this series and go on to video number three. I hope you are enjoying this lovely series of my huge mystery yarn haul. And uh, please let me know all your thoughts of all the yarns and what is what are the yarns that are really catching your eye because um, at the end of this series, I will be considering all these choices and put some in the giveaway. So, okay. <laughs> I hope you have enjoyed this video. And uh, thank you very much for joining me on this wonderful adventure. And then until the next one, happy knitting and crochet everyone.